everybody, it's Christine, and today I'm up with a layout using the Quarantined Collection from Simple Stories. Got a very simple layout um, with a picture of me and some of my kids in our masks. So one of the things I would like to hear from you in the comments down below today is how, what, memories are you scrapbooking from this time frame um how are you doing it what are you doing are you doing a whole mini album are you doing just layouts that carry on kind of as normal um i have not done anything but just adding regular traditional layouts into the mix and so today's will just be one more that helps mark that time um and we are wearing our masks and this collection from simple stories which you'll see me using again later this week is a simple set so it includes patterned papers and cardstock stickers it doesn't have all the extra embellishments that their normal collections do um but it's got some really cool colors in it i opted to focus on the green because our pictures were taken outside and two of the kids are wearing a green shirt in it. So I wanted to pull that color out, which is kind of an, a unique choice for this collection because there's a lot of colors that stand out more within it. But I was just drawn to the green. So I used one of the Color Vibe papers for my base. And then you can see I've added several patterned papers there in the center and that yellow paper all the way across. And then I'm going to just add more layers. So I'm going to really work in a lot of the patterned papers from this collection into this layout just through simple layers. Um, there's no fancy techniques going on today. There is no um, fancy products. Like it's just a very straightforward, clean, simple layout that tells a story of this time. And so you can see I've got the picture on there. I backed it with that navy blue patterned paper which there's some really cool navy blue designs in there i always love navy blue um and then i'm gonna pop this up with some 3d crafty foam tape so that i can add a little bit of dimension next i'm gonna go ahead and add my start to add my title so i'm gonna spell out covid19 using these color vibe letters um there are lots of title options within the cut apart cards in this collection as well as the stickers just none of them quite worked for what i was looking for today and so i opted to go this route instead both these letter stickers and the letter sticker books from Color Vibe have both become a real staple in my creating. I've actually got them right so I can grab them right from below my desk because uh, I'm finding I use them so much. And partially that's just because there's a great variety of color and it's just a very simple font. There's nothing... There's nothing fancy about it, um, but it also doesn't look repetitive when you use it consistently because you're not using like this fancy script font over and over and over. So I've got that on there and then I'm kind of playing with how to bring in a little more navy blue to this without changing up the design too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and start embellishing and this was a little weird because I'm going to just say it. It's weird to put a sticker of toilet paper on a layout unless it's about potty training or something. It's weird to put a layout sticker on there of a mask um, and things like that. It's such a surreal, odd thing to be creating with something like this, let alone creating about um us wearing masks so that was super interesting and a little bit of a challenge for my brain to wrap itself around what i ended up deciding to do was to just go pretty generic and pick some of the more generic circle stickers add those onto a white sticker or a white piece of cardstock that i punched circles out of and just use those to surround the picture otherwise i'm just letting the patterned paper tell the story and the pictures. Um, very, very, very minimal embellishing for me today. Now I'm going to build up my title a little bit more using some of the Color Vibe sticker books. Um, I'm going to add on to COVID-19 
And I'm going to make it say our COVID-19 look because, I mean, I feel like this needs explanation. Obviously, we'll probably all understand it down the road because it's been a big part of life. But nonetheless, <laughs> um, I wanted it to say that. And I wanted to make sure it also, like, I had the year documented um, and what, you know... <laughs> what exactly we were avoiding, etc. It just, <laughs> it made sense to have that kind of a title. Obviously, I couldn't pull that out of the collection itself, so creating it with these letter stickers was a good way to do that. I am going to add a journaling card on today and use that from the collection. Now, normally I do my journaling on the back side of my layouts. However, today there just felt like it was there was a good spot for it on the layout and I didn't have real anything real personal to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and make that public journaling today. So you see I'm cutting out a little piece of a cut apart card and I'm going to just add that right below the picture on the left hand side. I'm also going to grab some baker's twine and I'm going to add that to my tags. Uh, I'm very into tags still, very into adding baker's twine onto my layouts as well, um, which is great because both of those are either something I have or the tags are really easy to make my own of. So there you have it. Like I said, very clean, very simple, straightforward layout that tells the story of just another weird thing from 2020. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope you've had a great weekend and I will actually be back tomorrow with another Simple Stories layout. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.